Go Zoe! Go Zoe! That's probably why the person returned it to begin with. Or fries, that's right, I got you fries. Hey guys! Hi guys, um, this vlog is starting hecka late, but we are at McDonald's. Here guys, let me pass you guys your stuff, and I'm gonna go come and grab that baby. Oh, I can pass her up to you. Yeah, can you guys get her out? Sure. Anyways, um, we're at McDonald's because it is in the evening. Like I said, this vlog's starting really late. It's in the evening, and I'm just not feeling that great right now. I'm just not out. We're zoomed in a little too close. And your girl just does not want to... I'm not cooking tonight. Rarely do I have those moments. I generally cook. I cook every single day, pretty much. Except for Fridays. And every now and again, there's like a mixed day or whatever. But today, I'm just not in the mood. Hubby's coming home, so I gotta let him know that he should grab himself something to eat. Hey, Boo Boo Beans, you gonna come sit with me over here? Gonna come sit I've got fries for you. Ew. I've got fries for you. Here, you sit, sit in the seat like a big girl. Good job. Your fries are hot. Let me try them. Mm, 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 mm. Can I try one more, one more time? <laughs> <laughs> those are, they're hot. Is it good, Zoe? I yeah, I know you're excited, but it's hot, hot, hot. Don't be touching stuff. Anyways, yeah, hubby's on his way home. I just dropped Mikhail at a birthday party, and I'm supposed to go to the dollar store because. I got a bunch of stuff that I need to pick up. I'm also planning on get, don't ignore my brows. Don't come for me and my brows. <laughs> I think I said that last time, but I'm gonna go get my brows done too when hubby comes home. Is that yummy? Get mine done too, mommy. <laughs> no. Yeah, you'd probably cry. Okay, yeah, here you guys get your oh, food. Actually your well, yeah, they're pulling out your hair. Oh, Just hurt a little bit. So Hold on, it's fries, huh? What are you eating? I think it's. What, what are you, you eating? Do? The fries are for you and your sisters. Thanks. That's not yours, right? This is yours? <laughs> Thank you. Char, are you sure? You can, Char ordered one burger. I, I mean, it's, it is a little... <laughs> are you sure you can eat that, child? No, I'll probably just No, she only ordered one, and I don't know if that's going to be enough for her. But don't there's worry, a lot of fries. So we did up. order one large fry for them to share with Zoe. Um. Yes. So I'm going to get put some in here, and then I'm going to send the rest back to your sisters. Here you guys go. And um, yeah, hopefully I get over to the dollar store. Uh, just, I don't know, I feel so off. I feel so off. I'm just tired and I just need food. Hey mom, we can get some pork fries in that bowl. Mm -hmm. I have some. You ready for more? guys also I just wanted to I wanted to um, point out too a part of the reasons why, why I felt really compelled to come to McDonald's here is because oh hubby's okay. calling okay you gonna go go Zoe go Zoe I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so hold down. <laughs> um, Why you didn't recognize that? Zoe's like, who turned off the music? Okay, so you want it back on? Uh -oh. Okay, 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 okay. Are you gonna get? Uh, Which one was it? Are you gonna get charged uh, for like uh, copyright? Copyright? I right shouldn't now? for that. <laughs> Thanks, Trevor. Anyways, guys, we're back home. Charlotte and I got home um, way before these guys, before Aaron. They stopped at the dollar store and took forever. We were expecting sponges, guys. We wanted to get the best quality of sponge that we could get. Yeah, because so when when um, I left them, I was letting Aaron know that I needed sponges. But I didn't. I wasn't sure if I wanted them from the dollar store because I know the dollar store has a lot of good stuff. 
but I'm not like there's certain things that I do like that I think I prefer to get from the other store not that I prefer to spend the money <laughs> but sure. I want to so, get yeah. so anyways did you get sponges from the dollar store you did okay so he got that's this is a moment of truth okay <laughs> She's approved or disapproved? So I'll show you a bunch of the stuff that they got. Disapproved. Dis disapproved. I can't believe I said that. So if you guys are long time views, you know that I like that. They got Kit Kat. They got gummy bears. Swiper, no swiping. Okay. You got sponges. So these are two for $1.25. The most expensive sponge you could buy is three bucks for, a for one. Okay, that's not bad. Let you guys leave a comment down below. Let me know if you've ever used cellulose. Is that what it's called? This is scrubber cleans. Oh, scrubber cleans. Let me know if you guys have ever used that. I've never used it, so they'll. This will be the first time for everything. But I mean, it's not even a dollar. It's a dollar twenty-five. Yeah. You know, so this was living in Canada. <laughs> it's a dollar twenty-five cent tax. for two. So it's seventy-five cents each. That's not bad. They should put the they should make the straight like dollar twenty five. The way I'm saying it, I'm the making it. Cents. I'm making it. That's true. But the way I'm making it sound is like the more expensive, the better. Well, who's to say that it's gonna be good because it's a dollar twenty five? Yeah, you don't know, right? Yeah. We I saw did. like a Valida sponge for three bucks. You did, huh? Okay. Yeah. What else did they got? What else did they get? I should say. Uh, nope. Who needed? Who needed an art book? Gabrielle said she needed one. Can you believe that? More chips. Gabrielle? I got super glue. That's what I went for. Did you need... Oh, yeah. And and Aaron has super glue. How many How many pages is left in your art book? You want one of these? I know we have... Let's see. Like two? Yay! Anyways, we're, since we've been back, Charlotte's wrapping up this puzzle that she took out to do. Oh, I feel like you've done a lot already. A four to piece puzzle. Yeah, and you've probably so, like, done a hundred. I start out with like the This dick. is like a quarter, right? I think when we all do it together, we always start with the perimeter. Yeah, yeah we always start Here's with the Okay, one second. Okay guys, so as, as I'm editing today's video, I realized that it wasn't a lot of footage, so I figured why not just throw the Plato's Closet haul into this video. Now, the Plato's Closet haul, okay, the, the Plato's Closet clothing is in a big yellow bag because when I went there this time around, I don't know what the heck's going on, but they changed up so many things. They've got like a new, like a new points card that they give you, but nobody, just put it down, but nobody ever asks. Um, do you have your card or anything to collect your points? So I'm just like, what's up with that? Now this time around, you have to pay five cents for a bag. Not that that's a big deal because everywhere you go these days, you end up having to pay five cents for a bag. But it was relatively new in between the time frame, between now and the last time that I was there. And I, I felt like it wasn't that long ago since I was there. So I feel like so many things are changing, but I'm going to show you a bunch of the stuff that I got and a bunch of the stuff that Mick got. So Mick got this t-shirt. Woohoo! It says Jurassic Park on it. She just wanted to get some t-shirts for school. Obviously she dresses up and wears certain, you know, dresses. She wears like dressy tops and stuff too, but t-shirts are always cool, especially for school because you just want to be comfortable. Ouch! What the heck is that? Oh, I think I just poked my foot in the corner. Um, I picked up this shirt for myself. It's just a plain blue tee and I think blue looks good on me. I think it's from it's from Ardeen's. Oh no, that's not a good buy. <laughs> I don't usually buy, I don't have ever, I've never bought any clothes from Ardeen's, but I figured I'm gonna give it a try because I like the color and I think it'll just look good just for casual everyday wear because I feel like I always need t-shirts for everyday wear. You guys saw Charlotte try on this in yesterday's video as well. Um, and this was real, oh, I should tell you the prices, huh? You all wanna see, know the prices? This was six bucks, this shirt. If you didn't see her try it on, check out yesterday's vlog because it was good. Um, the the Jurassic Park t-shirt was six bucks. My blue t-shirt is five. And then one other, another thing that I picked up there was these. I love cut off shorts. What do you call these? They're not bike, I guess they're like biker shorts, but they're more, they're biker workout shorts. I live in stuff like this. I already have a pair. I love the way they feel. And I love that they're not super short. Like, they're not super short and they're not super long. So they're like, I don't know. They're perfect for, um, they're perfect to me for summer. So I like that. I ended up picking up more stuff than I feel like Michaela did. Sorry. 
I ended up finding more stuff than she did because she just didn't see a lot of stuff. I got myself this bench shirt, and like I said, it's just a cute little tank top for, or not tank top, but a cute little t-shirt for, um, just to be able to work out in. Sorry. It's just a cute little tank top to be able to work out in and stuff like that. So that's what that looks like. And last but not least, I did indicate that I did get a sweatshirt. This is a Puma shirt. A Puma, uh, what do you call it? Long, yeah, sorry, I'm sitting way low now, guys. <laughs> yeah, last but not least, I got this Puma, like, jacket. You gonna say hi? Say hi. Hey, fam. Oh, you want a fist bump? Okay, fist bump. <laughs> That's her new thing. And all together for those things, $63. $63 for the, the, what, four, five, five, six items. The jacket, I know it was expensive. It was like $14 or $20. Never mind. The jacket, it's, this jacket was $22. It's soft. It's doable. I like it. I'm not sure I'm going to keep it yet because I need to try it on to see what it looks like. So I'm going to try it on real quick and I'll show you guys what it looks like in the mirror. Oh my gosh. Okay guys, so um, I like the way it fit. I, I like the color, mm, but I'm not a big fan of this. I noticed from putting it on right away that the zipper just slides right down and I'm not about that life. Like I like to wear my zippers kind of like here, you know, it just kind of cute, but I'm not gonna be happy if it just goes zipping down which it's already doing so that's a big no-no <sighs> it's probably why the person returned it to begin with or or um right to play those closets so anyways it's not a final sale i'm gonna go bring it back because it is 22 dollars and i want my money back don't want to put this to sit down in my closet and it's not gonna work i think i have seven days to do a return so i bought it sunday today's day monday tuesday and today is tuesday okay okay <laughs> Anyways, I got three. I gotta return this tomorrow. Let's, let me show you. Let me show you guys what it looks like full on in the mirror. So this is what it's looking like. Definitely not my. Um, I don't even think the fit is like a good fit for me either. You know, it's getting like it. Yeah, I find the pockets are a little bit high. So generally, when I wear stuff like this, I think the cut usually it just has a better cut or a better shape like this is making me look boxy and I feel like my waist isn't even like that right now and I'm not advertising for Windex get out of the page yeah you know that's what's up y'all hi guys thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to join the tribe subscribe subscribe, subscribe. <laughs>